Today we are lacking social inclusion. We must mobilize individuals who in an entrepreneurial and innovative way tackle the big problems we are faced with now and in the future. Social innovation is really about the process of change. The most obvious and visible expression of it has been social entrepreneurship. We have these unique skill sets be the nerve center that interlinks and creates a new configuration that learns to work together in a more effective way. It means that you are creating practice and methodology which is possible for others to pick up. The secret is not to orchestrate everything, it's to build people up to the point where they start to go out and do the work on a much greater scale. If you are understanding towards their issues, involving them in your work, the sympathy raises a voice. We have to show that it's possible so people can see themselves that there's hope. They can dream for themselves. It's not just about the work that you do and the impact you create, but also about how it converts to something of big ticket relevance globally. If we want to bring things to scale, from helping 100 people to helping 100 million, I think technology in that respect plays such a pivotal role. Technological change happens so quickly and we are able to use that and disrupt the existing system. Now there are more communities who want to join our system. I have to think how to redesign ourselves in such a way that it can be replicated and it can be scaled. Without the network, we would have not had the opportunity to leapfrog into other areas and develop broader. For the last two decades, the Schwab Foundation has embedded social entrepreneurs into the World Economic Forum network. In this next chapter, we look forward to building an intersectoral community of social innovators, bringing the system into the room to understand, build and deliver on the change we know we need. We have the opportunity to begin to hold hands and to allow us to share our models for greater impact at the global level.